Guerrilla Games currently has 16 projects planned for Horizon. This includes merchandise, a Netflix show and a ton of games. The series now sold 32.7 million units with Forbidden West close to hitting the 10 million mark soon. And the series is about to get bigger. I will touch on what we know about the third game. But first I want to go over the potentially biggest gamble they're working on right now. A full on online Horizon game that is seemingly coming to PlayStation 5 and PC. It was long rumored but Guerrilla now confirmed the project themselves with a job post on Twitter saying that a new internal team is developing a separate online project set in Horizon's universe and also how it will feature a new cast of characters with a unique stylized look friends will be able to explore the majestic wilds of Horizon together. And an image for the game actually appeared online that many articles and YouTube channels have already shared as well, where we see five new characters working together to take out a Thunderjaw in a very colorful art style. Now worth noting is that this is from the summer of 2020, so things can totally look completely different now. Like I overall hope that they keep the graphics more in line with what we see in the single player games. But what is clear is that this game will focus on characters from different Horizon and tribes that we can unlock and that all come with different abilities. Guerrilla Games is namely looking for a senior character combat designer to work on the online project that will design unique abilities that are exciting to execute, offer tactical choices and create cooperative opportunities for multiple player characters. Now the character focus makes me worried that they might go the Genjin Impact route and like have us gamble to get these characters gotcha style. I hope they instead like just charge full price and have us get all the characters through gameplay. But it's a fact that they wanted to do co-op in the Horizon series for a long time and I'm happy that they make it a standalone thing instead of trying to make it work in Aloy's game. Through another job listing we also learned that social elements are a key focus with ways for us to connect with strangers in game that can evolve into lasting friendships. There should be matchmaking and also verbal and non-verbal communication tools so likely emotes we can use. I think a Monster Hunter Horizon game could be really cool. I'm just now curious when we will finally see it because it has been in the works for five years and seven months now. Would you play something like this? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious and that's by the way not the only multiplayer Horizon game that is seemingly in development. First let's look at what we know about the first single player game. Of course if you like the video so far then leaving a like would really show your support and subscribe as I will of course keep you up to date on everything happening in the Horizon franchise franchise. Without spoiling anything, if you finished Horizon Forbidden West and the Burning Shores DLC, then you know it's obvious that a third game is coming. But Guerrilla themselves have also teased it a couple of times. Like on that same job posting and talking about the online game, they also said that they are working on more epic solo adventures for Aloy. We also see on their job website that they are for example looking for a senior machine gameplay designer to make new machines for the single player part of Horizon. And recently they noted that Aloy her latest mission takes her to the ruins of of Los Angeles in the Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC and that they also can't wait for us to find out where she will go next. And I'm curious about that as well, like we know that a big threat is looming so we will likely have to make all the preparations possible and figure out how to defeat it. And not sure if you know but there's actually maybe a tease for the third game in the Burning Shores DLC over here on the map. Like if you go here and land you'll see some machines that are drained of oil with a special mural behind them and Aloy also comments that this has been made with machine oil and it of course has to be the exiled by nuke Brin that by drinking machine oil can see visions of things that happened in the past and in the future. So while Brin basically teased what would happen in Forbidden West during a side quest in Zero Dawn, we sadly did not encounter him in the sequel and also not in the Burning Shores DLC, but he did leave this mural and it kind of looks like a cauldron or something to me. Of course, your theories are more than welcome in the comments, but also interesting is that if you look behind the mural, you will find the final data points of the DLC. And a quick side note, the final data point of Zero Dawn was called the Forbidden West. So maybe this final data point of the Burning Shores is also teasing something about the next game. I found this line in particular interesting. An ominous whisper called to me from the rocks and stones. So this Brin hissing of secrets and portents and an ancient ghost arising in the east. Like I would not be surprised if this is referring to something that is happening in Asia. Which would maybe also be where the great delta, the Quinn homeland is. And leaving behind the US to go to the east and finally see where the Quen really come from 
would be really awesome in a third game. Although I can also see them do something crazy like going to space for one mission or something. Again, I am curious what your theories are in the comments. First, Horizon Forbidden West has to come to PC though. We're now seeing PlayStation 5 games release on Steam two years after their original PS5 launch. So I totally expect something similar for Forbidden West, meaning that it's probably coming early 2024 to PC. But Sony also partnered with NCSoft to make a Horizon MMORPG, which is likely for PC first and foremost, like NCSoft is the company behind Guild Wars 2 and Korean titles like Lineage and Blade and Soul. Their upcoming titles include a free-to-play open-world MMORPG called Throne and Liberty that is also coming to console. Looks solid, like it shows they can also do modern high-quality graphics, and something that got my attention was Project M, a heavy rain style interactive movie that I think looks pretty promising too. And the internal name for this Horizon game is seemingly Project H. Like not sure how this can live alongside the Monster Hunter type game that Guerrilla Games is making themselves. Like on the surface the idea seems pretty similar. I first thought okay maybe this is a mobile game instead. But NCSoft is just not really known for their mobile output. Like sure they tried but they never really seem to have found a big audience. It will likely be a while before we see this MMO but this is really a title where I'm mostly like do we really need this although you could also ask the same question in regards to the Horizon Zero Dawn remaster or remake that is also being worked on this is according to a rumor from a multiplayer first that has since been confirmed by other sources as well it notes that this new version should feature an improved lighting system overhaul to textures better animations with new character models to match those found in the sequel Horizon Forbidden West in short they want both both games to be more in line with each other and sure the first game still looks great but especially the facial animations and characters are night and day first the sequel. The rumor also notes that this Zero Dawn re-release should then also include the performance modes we saw in Forbidden West on PS5, have similar quality of life features, hopefully the quick swap between weapons and that super handy auto pickup for plants instead of doing the animation every time. Like I just really can't go back to that. So to be fair I would love an updated version for one of my favorite games of all time i just hope they sell it for a reasonable price now i will totally play it i'm kind of a sucker but i'm curious what this re-release has to do for you to get you interested so let me know in the comments and we of course all know the reason why they're doing this and that's because of the Netflix show that is probably going to make the Horizon franchise even more popular. Steve Blackman behind the Umbrella Academy is working on the adaption and he also confirms that Aloy will be the main character in our story. Not much else is known, only that they will use the newest technologies available to bring this to life. Like with the robots, I can totally see this being quite the undertaking. The first season will probably be the first game. I'm really curious who will play Aloy and I personally hope that it will be better than The Witcher as... Apart from the first season, I just did not really like it. Sony shows so far have been doing pretty well though, with The Last of Us and even Twisted Metal on Peacock that I still need to watch, scoring really high on Rotten Tomatoes. Guerrilla Games says that they will be continuing the Horizon series for a very long while and that the three games that we've seen so far, including Call of the Mountain, are just the beginning. I hope there's enough room for all of this though, like the first single player game sure and I think hunting machines together with friends could be really awesome, but the other stuff I'm just not so sure. Like I mentioned Call of the Mountain and I totally think some people watching this had already forgotten about that PSVR 2 game that just didn't do anything in terms of sales or buzz. And also as like a really big Horizon fan I still have to finish it. I just don't want to play it it just doesn't feel like a legit horizon game to me so i hope they treat one of my favorite series well and i by the way have plans to do something returning about the series like a new way to cover these games with someone else that i hope i can share more about very soon so we can talk about the series and also when Guerrilla Games finally reveals what is next. Like there are rumors of a second PlayStation showcase this year and if that's happening I totally expect Horizon to be there in some way shape or form. When we know more about the future I will of course let you know here on the channel so totally subscribe if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out and check out my most recent video on some really big games that are still coming out in 2023 by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.